My name is uh, Dr. Devi Shetty and I'm a heart surgeon by profession. Question about young people developing heart disease. We have a serious problem in our hand. When I used to practice in England, most of my patients were old retired people. In India, most of the patients I treat are the young breadwinners of the family. It's not the uh, young son bringing his old father for a heart operation in my practice. It is the old father bringing his young son for a heart operation. What is the reason for this virtual epidemic of heart disease? The reason is we are genetically more vulnerable. We are three times more vulnerable than Caucasians in developing heart disease. And we have a very high incidence of diabetes. We are becoming the diabetic capital of the world. And diabetes leads to premature heart attack. And we have very high incidence of tobacco abuse and smoking. There is hardly any perceptible campaign against adverse effects of tobacco, smoking and in any other form. And our diet, Indian diet, is a recipe for disaster. We need to change our dietary habits in terms of uh, going away from very oil-rich fried stuff into something which is subtle and something which is more rich with proteins and other stuff rather than oil. And Indians have virtually no intention to exercise. We are not very conscious about the benefits of exercise and uh, the, uh, the, 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 the greatest virtues of uh, exercise. So we need to change our habits. How many people walk in the morning or exercise? How many playgrounds you see across the country? There are hardly any. So essentially, we have a serious problem in hand. We have to address it. First, is the lifestyle. It's very, very important that we take uh, heart-healthy food, reduce oil content in the diet, reduce fatty food, fried stuff, ghee, butter, cheese, milk and milk products. You can eat fish and chicken, no, very little of red meat, very little of egg, preferably the white. Then smoking. Tobacco. Smoking totally destroys the heart, so is the tobacco. So you have to reduce, stop the consumption of uh, tobacco in any form. Then exercise. You have to exercise, keep yourself fit. If you are a diabetic, control your blood sugar. Most young people don't bother about uh, controlling the blood sugar because they don't have any symptoms. Uncontrolled diabetes can damage virtually every organ. It's a silent killer. So control the diabetes. If the blood pressure is high, control the blood pressure. Then more than anything else, you have to change your perception towards life. It's very hard to create a perfect world. We have to accept it. We have to accept this world as it is, than as it should be. That is the best way to accept the uh, rules and regulations and the prevailing situation and buy peace within yourself. And my last advice for all of you is become spiritual. I'm not saying you should become religious. You should become spiritual. Believe in the existence of God who is going to take care of all of us. And the belief that somebody is there on top taking care of all of us and everything what we do can be a very soothing part of your life. Then we have to see how we can reduce the chances of developing heart attack. For that, we need to change our diet. We have to reduce the oil content, fried stuff. We have to preferably become vegetarian fruit eaters. That is not possible, but lean meat is okay. Fish and chicken is okay. Then 
we should develop the habit of exercising. Somehow it is not in our culture to exercise. The third and the most important thing is if you are a smoker, quit smoking. Tobacco in any form can damage your heart very badly. Then it's very important that if you are a diabetic, control your blood sugar. Monitor your blood sugar very regularly. If you are a hypertensive, control your blood pressure. Thank you very much for listening. My message to all of you is take care of your heart. You have only one heart and that should take care of you throughout your life so that you can really enjoy this world filled with wonderful creations from God. Have a great day and celebrate life. Good luck and God bless.